WTFNN. Headline news update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight off this TFNN noon update. Dow's down 88. Didn't I just say that yesterday? Dow's down 88, 27,845. Really good chance that in this uh, pattern that we're looking at, based on the Chapman Wave methodology, we're making some kind of a top here, yeah, short term top. 2890 was the high. Let me just double check that. Yep, 2890, 28,090 was the high yesterday. Uh, there was a, a red candle, and now we're having another red candle. The only way you're going to get the price going sharply below the 27,680 14 period exponential moving average is to have these sharp triple digit moves uh, for the next two, three days. So if if we close, have a, a rally towards the end of the day, uh, only down 40 or something like that. That sort of stalls everything. And then it says very choppy, but it does make this whole millennial millennium level of 28,000. I'll talk about that in my show. It's going to be very important. So uh, with that said, any new high uh, recycles the upside, and that would be very positive. I think it's going to be tough just in this particular environment right now to do that. S&P is down six points at 3114, 3,114. Made a high yesterday, I believe. Also a peak F in the Chapman wave if there's no new high today at 3124.17. But it must hold uh, 3109 and then 3091 becomes the focus of the 14 period moving average. The QQQ NDX 100 uh, down 52 cents at 202.85, also a potential peak F at 203.84. Let me just double check. Was that the high? 203.84, the high of yesterday, holding very nicely. But if it's stuck, the MACD is almost about to cross negative, and the stochastic is very strong at 94. On balance volume is toppy, so it needs to close under 200.50 in the next couple of days, and that'll say, okay, short-term top, a little bit of a breather, but the Russell 2000, the IWM is holding is up 12 cents, 159.23, holding onto the green moving average. It tested it. It's moving a little bit higher. This is downtrend line, also made a peak effort, 160.46, the sixth highest peak from the low bar. And now we're looking at the stochastic week and the MACD's week. Can this lead the market up in the next few weeks as the market takes a bit of a breather? We'll see. We need to look now at at, uh, I wanted to go to um, the TLT. The TLT is uh, had bounced very nicely, up 79 cents. I said getting to the 140 says there's a chance that the market could start to pull back a little bit. I'll be back. We'll talk more about it in my show, The Tiger Conditions Hour, coming up after this break. Have a great day. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. If you haven't checked out.